Hi, and welcome to Yoga with Kylie. Thanks so much for signing up on my website. So I've got this really short little practice for you to do that's a way of reducing tension in the body and bringing about a little bit more mobility. And it's involving my fascial release, something that I am really big on. And it's a great way to really release the trigger points that we get in the body. And those trigger points tend to hold on to a lot of toxins and refer pain to other areas of the body. So you'll need uh, some balls. I'm using a spiky ball and two round balls. If you don't have these, you could use a golf ball in place of the spiky ball, or you could use tennis balls. So whatever you have at home, or you can send me a message and I can send you some out because I do have them available as well. All right, let's go to our mats. So we're gonna hit three main key areas in the body with this myofascial release. And they're the key areas because of their connection to everything else in the body. So the first place we're gonna do is the feet. The reason being uh, the soles of the feet contain fascia that runs the full length of the body. So if we roll out our feet and just bring a little bit more blood flow to that area, start to reform the fascia on the soles of the feet, it can bring about more mobility through the rest of the body. Plus it just feels really good as well to roll out those feet, particularly if you're somebody that wears shoes a lot of the time. Good, and then switch to the other side. You'll notice straight away that there's a difference between the feet. Roll up the other side. If you're using a golf ball, same sort of action, just really getting into any of those areas where you feel really tight knots, what we call a trigger point. And if you work in an office, wear shoes a lot, even high heels a lot, then I recommend taking a ball to work with you and just rolling out your feet whenever you start to feel a little bit achy. And even if you're feeling the ache up into the shoulder area, just start to roll out the feet, it'll make a huge difference. Good, and then release that. The next place we're gonna do is the psoas, so through the belly. So the psoas is one of our main uh, trunk stabilizers, but also trigger points in this area um, refer pain to our lower back. So a lot of us are tight and also weak in the psoas. So you're gonna take your two balls, find your belly button, and they're gonna go on either side of the belly button. So you'll lie yourself down, slide your balls into place, and then release the weight of the body onto the balls. For the first couple of breaths, you're gonna breathe in, press the balls away with your belly, so really expanding the belly. And then as you exhale, allow the balls to sink in a little bit deeper. Could do that again, inhale, press the belly into the balls. And then as you exhale, allow the balls to sink deeper. Good, and then now with every exhale, seeing if you can find a little bit more release onto the balls. And what we're aiming to do here is to get the balls to sink in deep enough to really get into the psoas muscle, which is quite deep in the belly. And we've got our other abdominal muscles lying more superficial to it. Good, and then gently press yourself up. You're gonna bring your balls into your TFL or tensor fascia lata now. If you imagine you're wearing some pants and the tensor fascia lata is like a little pocket wrapping around the front of the hip, it then attaches to your IT band. So it can become quite tight because of all the sitting that we do. And particularly if your glute muscles are a little bit weak. You're gonna bring the ball right into the front of the hip and then lie yourself down and take the knee in and the foot out. So coming into an internal rotation through that leg. And then you're just gonna simply waggle your foot from side to side to release that trigger point in the TFL. And you'll know when you're on the trigger point because it'll be quite painful. And if you're a little bit worried as to whether you're on the trigger point or not, then you probably are not on it. So finding that point where it is quite uncomfortable and then just allowing your breath to release that trigger point. 
as we waggle our leg from side to side, we're also inviting a little bit of frictioning action through that point. So because we are largely chair-based society, the TFL and the psoas tends to become quite tight. And we tend to have a few trigger points in these areas. And particularly for the psoas, it often refers the pain to the lower back. So whenever you're feeling a little bit kind of cranky in the low back, just check out what's happening with your psoas first of all. Good, and then slide that ball over to the other side. So bring it right onto the front, just below the hip point, where you feel almost like a little divot in the front of the hip. Turn the knee in, the foot out, and then just waggle the leg from side to side. You might not even need to waggle the leg. If it feels like you just want to stay in that one position and breathe into it, then that's, that's also a really good option. Good, and then just carefully release. And this last area we're going to do is the SCM muscle or sternocleidomastoid, so this big ropey muscle through the side of the neck. So take your spiky ball or your tennis ball and just start to rub it up and down the side of the neck. So because we tend to have a lot of stress in our life, uh, a lot of us tend to be quite anxious and breathe more into this top part of the chest, this SCM muscle can get quite cranky. And when it gets cranky, the trigger points tend to give us things like tension, headaches, um, migraines, any sort of pain to do with the, the head in general. And if we are often in that sympathetic mode, so the flight fight response, then this muscle is going to get a little bit um, tighter more overworked and particularly because we tend to drop the head forward or let, allow the head to fall off the top of the spine it is also working in what we call a locked long position so again it is getting a little bit overworked overstressed good and then just take your hand around behind you so that same side you were just doing grab hold with the other hand and drop your ear to your shoulder so you're feeling this nice stretch all through the side of the neck and into the upper back area. Good, and then just carefully press your head up to neutral. And before you do the other side, turn your head from side to side. Just notice the freedom that you have along that side we've just been working on. Good, and then take a ball and release the other side. So we have trigger points all throughout the body. And these three main areas that we've done in this video are really just three that are particularly useful to do every day. This is my cat Mishka coming into the shot here. Once you feel like those trigger points through the side of the neck have started to release, then take the hand around behind the back, catch hold of the other hand and drop your ear to your shoulder. And really soften this other shoulder away from the ear. Take the hand to the side of the head, gently push your head up to neutral. Give your head a little shake from side to side. Good. And then carefully roll up your mat. Or if you're not using a mat, just roll up your towel. You just want a nice little sausage shape for this last part, which is going to be a little bit of thoracic extension. Just to open out through the 
front of the chest. So you're going to lay yourself down on your sausage, bringing it just below the shoulder blade area. Extend your legs long, send your tailbone towards your heels, and then lengthen out the back of the neck and slowly lower your head down to the floor. Take the arms straight out to the side, and then just close down the eyes. So this is a great way to end your day, particularly if you are desk bound. Or even if you're not desk bound, but you spend quite a bit of your time sort of, um, I don't want to say bad posture, but maybe not the best posture for you. And this is a great way just to open out through the thoracic spine. It allows you to breathe better, to stand up taller, and also to feel better. You can stay as long as you like in this position. Just focusing in on your breath. very carefully going to just bend your knees and roll over to one side and carefully press yourself up. That is just one really easy short sequence that you can do to reduce pain and bring about a little bit more mobility to your body and also breathe better and feel better. Keep practicing with me. Thanks for joining. Namaste.